John! I like your shirt. Oh, don't drop me. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, what happened? You gotta strap those things down, man. Push my cushion back in. All right, cool. We're good. Hello, everybody. Hey, look! And if you don't know Rob, Chair Slayer, cuts us some footage of anything that Rob does. You need us to tape it to the pedal? Yep. <laughs> so, I've never duct taped someone's foot. No, I mean, I think this before. is gonna work out. Is this for real right now? What are you doing right now? Just well, unpacking so... a very mysterious box? There we go. Mysterious. Okay. Creaform Ghost Scan. This is a 3D scanner by one of the best companies out there. Uh, and we're gonna use this to turn that into digital data for someone special to make something special. You only bring me in on the super secret hand projects. Yeah, that's why we have you. No, You're our mercenary. Yeah. All right, call Rob in. <laughs> we have no idea what we're doing, we need Rob. Yeah. What do you think about our project? I love these things so much. Back in Canada, we imported these things a ton. My friend Alan actually brought in one. I think he called it a joy pop. I think that's what it's called. But it's like the van version. And you're able to like do endos on the thing. That's but this sick. was in high school. So we had like all the <laughs> girls in this van. You could fit six people in this stupid thing. Dude. It was the party van. You don't need six people in this. It'd be way too dangerous. Yeah. Hi. These bad boys, they're the positioning targets. And they are like the key to making this accurate and scan quickly. So. We gotta actually place these expensive little dots all over the whole side of the car that we wanna scan. Almost $120 a box, I believe. Are they reusable? No. What? No. One and done. Yeah, one and done. Okay. Yeah. So you gotta use those fancy space dots to get everything ready? Yeah, exactly. So the space dots. And then the reason why those guys are taping up the window is because obviously lasers don't work very well at bouncing off of windows. Go right through it. Just doing it because you told us to. Oh, yeah, that's right. About scanning a full car, you usually don't need to scan the whole thing because it's symmetrical on the other side for the most part. Uh, so we're only going to scan half of this car and then that will allow the designer to create what he needs to on one side and then just on the computer mirror it for the other side. All right. All right. I got Mike Adia in the house. Great place. You need to get out of here. Like, It'd be so cool to have some music, but yeah, sure, we can. Yeah, we can play music. Nice, dude. See that cut? That was quality. That was like you cared a lot about it. What are you looking for? I'm just watching it scan as it goes, and then it'll tell you if it's if it's messing up. It won't continue scanning so it's looking for the dots and looking for similar uh, points of reference so that it can keep scanning properly the crazy thing is you can just like pick up where you left off how does it know bro and it's it's i i'm still always fascinated by this tool because it's like it just knows where it is sometimes that's what the dots are for i wish i knew where i was what were you saying about the placement of the dots uh I like to keep them random, like if you put them in a pattern, I've found that on flat surfaces, they can sometimes pick up that pattern and then it'll bounce all over the place on that flat surface. So because this is super flat, uh, the more random we can have the dots, the better. Man, this thing's incredible. Yeah, Creaform makes a hell of a freaking product. Their high-end one, the Handy Scan, it scans so quickly and the accuracy is 0.005 of an inch. That's a piece of paper. That's hair follicle. Yeah, it's a piece of paper. And the, yeah, the detail is out of control. So what we're doing now is I did actually two scans. One of this side right here. And like I had this whole uh, side of the car uh, all in one, um, but it was getting, it was using up a bunch of memory. So to make sure we don't use up a ton of memory, We'll add another scan, so we just scan this section, and now we're merging them together. And that's where these dots come into play, is because those dots we can use to align the scan very easily and automatically. Gotcha. Do it without having like move stuff around. Uh, and 
and do it visually. This will just automatically do it and merge everything together. So. Cause visually you could make a huge mistake. Visually I could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very much so. Cool man. That's so awesome. It's very interesting to me because I've never seen anything like it. Saw you doing it on Twitch the other day. Yeah. And that was really cool. So. Yeah, that was good too. And if you uh, want to see some more on it, go on Twitch and you'll catch Rob building uh, yeah, some of her stuff. Exactly. We're gonna do. I'm gonna try and scan the FD engine bay right now because the engine's out of it, and uh, we're gonna finish up making the motor mounts for the S13 rotary. And we'll be doing some stuff on Twitch as well, so you'll be able to see Garage Garage us doing stuff in here. If you haven't subscribed to Twitch for our channel, do that. I don't think we've even uh, mentioned what Twitch is on Garage Garage ever. No, we need to because now it's going. Now we're going to be on Twitch. So. Well, what's Twitch? So Twitch is just us live streaming. It's just going to be a live show. It's going to be all the behind the scenes. All the behind the scenes. So full interaction all the time. It's, it's basically like hanging out with us. So I think it's really cool. Sign up on Twitch. Hang out with us. Love us. Love us. Hey, look at this. Now it is one, all merged together. Dude, it's so sick. And yeah, so like, all on the side, nice and smooth and stuff like that. Well, there's Mike Adia. Sweet tape cut. That's the black not being. Oh yeah, cut, okay. So, just. And then I, I tape this shit off too, so we can go yeah, back over we'll that. Go back over that and get that, and we'll be good. What's he looking for on the screen? He's looking for it to just, as, as long as it's painting as you move basically, as you're filling it in, it's nice. And then staying within that zone a little farther away. Oh, so he's like painting. Painting in the spots basically. I see. Here on Garage Garage slash Staff Inspection slash Unclosed Garage. <laughs> where everything's going on at once. What's up, Ryan? You guys are scanning this thing? Yeah. Damn. This is, this is the lining process, so. Damn. So what we do is once we got, like, we have to do this in multiple scans just because it takes up so much data. So I just, we just scan the roof, and what we do is we merge it together, and it's, it, this program is so good that it's as simple as just hit a line, and boom, put, uh, put the roof on. Can I ask you a quick question? Are we scanning this for what I think we're scanning this? Yes. We're scanning a car from Japan in America to send to a man in Japan yeah. <laughs> to take measurements of? Yeah. Great. I'm that sure. seems like the way we would do it. I'm next. sure that they don't have any of these over there. Not this specific one, okay? <laughs> this one has a roof. Rack. I mean, when your boy has a 3D scanner, we might as well use it. You gotta flex. Yeah, absolutely. You gotta flex what you got. So it can read the shadows and that's how it can pick up depth through sh like yeah yeah it's picking up the, the depth and stuff through if you look at look at see how it looks like a qr code yeah so it can see that uh difference in uh uh depth and uh it picks it up through three cameras and it puts those all together on the computer based on the position of those black marks so it can differentiate the, the black doesn't reflect back, the white yeah. will reflect back so it can see that difference in the Oh, I see. Reflection. What like automotive professions would you advise to use a scanner like this? This works so good for stuff like this. So creating body kits and using it for mold design and body panel design, it's really, really quick at being able to turn something into a, a, a functional part you use on the computer uh, on top of being able to uh, make molds for like a transmission or something like that uh, scanning an engine bay to make motor mounts uh, a lot of stuff like that yeah just it's got so many uses and just being able to turn this into data to have on your computer and just design whatever you want around it front area area now get the front wheel in there and then we'll be done at least good enough for him to say I need more here or this will be good. Oh Jesus oh Jesus can 
you imagine if that's what happened in the air? Uh, yeah, I could definitely imagine that. Yeah. So, we got half of the truck scanned. I mean, that's enough for him to make uh, some bumper stuff off of and uh, get the body lines and stuff figured out. So, that only took what? Not even two hours? Pretty quick. Yeah. So, high five. Let's get this off to the guy that's gonna make this look sick. You need to know a lot more about us than you want to. Yeah. <laughs> get a little closer in person. How Look at this sick hat that we have on. It's like a camera hat. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I can tell me.